getting some nice rain a little bit too much I guess some people are having flooding here in Texas um, I went to the store and there was a truck had been flipped over on the road because people drive like ridiculous but uh, hopefully everyone's safe just gonna make a little video I was kind of thinking about some things having some just kind of touching on some stuff that I talked about before but it's as you become more <clears throat> as you move along your spiritual path you know you start to have this sense of expansion happen and it's kind of interesting how that works because it's not how you would think and at least not for me I never would have thought you know it would be like this it's way more subtle and it's more um, per uh, it, I don't want to say personal but of course it's personal but it's it's just so feels so natural like I'm not like uh, I'm expanding but I'm just feeling more and more of that feeling of uh, centeredness and all that it's weird because you would think as you expand you would lose that centeredness <clears throat> but it's kind of the opposite the more you expand the more centered you become and I guess that's what they talk you know when the, these you hear people talking about the ocean and the waves on the ocean and if you're like a little boat on top of the ocean you're getting tossed around but if you go down into the depths as you expand into the ocean, it becomes very calm down in the depths of the ocean. Anyway, um, when I can feel that with my meditations, that I've expansion, the expansions there, and um, and I had a thought today, like how when we expand, it's almost like we're we're getting out of jail. It's like we we're, we're being released from jail. I think um, you know this idea of enlightenment is a sense of expansion to the point where you're not you don't have to go back behind the bars and the bars are this kind of illusory self that we create and um, it gets conditioned in us to a very large extent and but we become the creators of it on our own uh, even though we don't even realize we're doing it just by our thought processes and the way we've been conditioned to you know um, behavior modification and um, all the the way the world has just pounded pounded on us from day one right so what happens with this expansion also is this feeling that everything is God so everything is uh, the walls of the house the sidewalk the uh, I was putting clothes in my dryer and I was sitting there thinking, wow, you know, how grateful I was to have a dryer and that how this dryer was just an extension of God. I mean, it's it's something that's been made materially, but it's still made up of, you know, particles, atoms that are just essentially just, you know, a manifestation of this um, field or uh, whatever you want to call it, this this vastness, this um, infinity, you know, infin this infinity. So, anyway, thought that was kind of cool analogy, just the thought about being, being in, a, in jail, and like, it's almost like we're being released from prison. When we start to realize that, you know, we're not just this body, and, 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 and the expansion that occurs is a natural process. It's, it's natural. It's unnatural to be in this state of contraction. And um, anyway, been listening to some near-death experiences. Really awesome. It makes me, like, it It puts uh, another level of value on my own meditation experiences. <clears throat> and it aug augments. It's, it's like a, it augments my, uh, my meditation and my, and my spiritual experience knowledge it, it augments it because these people that have experienced this you know this this godly energy this other side whatever you want to call it this infinity 
um, they talk about it, and it's like, you know, it's really hard for them to describe it. I mean, I think some of the people have practiced saying it so many times, they have their little routine, and so it makes it more solid or whatever in terms of expressing it in a 3D. But it's something that you really have a hard time putting into words. And um, I know with meditation, you'll have experiences like that too, where you just are like, you know, it's just, you just start to, your consciousness expands out to a point where you're not really sure if this is, you know, you even had that experience, you know, kind of doubt yourself maybe. And um, I think that's a natural part of the process. We go, it's kind of like a little kid who you're clinging onto its mom's leg, you know, and then it'll go out and adventure and do some adventure and then come back to the mom's leg and then go out and do some more adventure and come back to the mom for a nap or come back to the mom for food, but then go out and adventure. And um, it, we're doing the same thing on a spiritual level. We're going out and adventuring in our meditation. We're, we're expanding out. We're going out into the, uh, you know, into this infinity. We're stretching our consciousness out into this infinity and then we come back and then we go back out and then we come back and then at some point it's kind of like we're it's kind of like work release at some point we're just totally released and we can just be in that state of higher consciousness but what's so amazing is we are able to stand back in this physical 3d reality and yet have this experience of this expanded state of consciousness at the same time. And that's the really amazing thing, I think, with with a spiritual path. And um, if you're on a spiritual path, that's ultimately kind of where you're headed, right? You're you're going to have an, you're living in your body, you're living in the physical world, but you're having this expansion. And then, you know, Maharishi would talk about dyeing a cloth yellow and putting it in the sun. So it's kind of the same thing. It goes into the dye, it comes out, it's yellow, it gets bleached out in the sun, goes back in the dye, comes out. Every time it retains just a little more of the yellow, a little more of the yellow. And then to finally, when that state of yellowness is established, there's no amount of sun that can fade the yellow. So it's a great analogy because it's basically the same exact thing as what I was thinking today. And... Um, that's what that's what's going on with our consciousness is being dyed in yellow it comes out fades goes back into yellow and one thing Kamish said it's kind of like he said it's like when you go into that state of meditation when you come out of it it's like it's like this new it's a new it's created a new state it's like when you pour concrete it takes a while to set so you don't want to be stomping through the concrete you know putting footprints and making a mess you got to go kind of gentle for a little bit with yourself let that state of consciousness harden so to speak so it's kind of the same principle but i like what i like about the way Kamish describes it is it puts more of the onus on it gives us more of a responsibility for protecting that you know that subtle level of consciousness and then you know finding the things in ourselves that are disrupting that subtle level of consciousness you know and that was kind of what Kamish was talking about uh, the other week in that talk and was saying you know is this coming from me is this is, is this coming is this um, you know this whatever it is outburst or this uh, being pulled out of the center basically uh, is this coming from something in the past or is this coming from something right now and what that does is it allows your consciousness to go Oh, I have I have control in that if it's something in the past, then I can let go of it. If it's something now, I can let go of it. And I think that's the state of our evolution is to is to how quickly we can release that um, you know that that dark cloud that comes over the sun blocks the sun out. How quickly we can get that cloud removed so the sun can shine through again. And then, you know, I, I could say at some point, the sun just shines through all the time. You're in that state of openness and surrender and all that. All right. Have a good day.